My name is Dr. Carlos Sutor and my aim is to give you information to help you decide for yourself about your well-being. These are my personal opinions and to the best of my knowledge, you're using them on your own responsibility and when there are any mistakes, I will try to publish corrections. We also create handouts and have our website which is www.sagrada.uk and there you can get in touch with us. Please do send us your feedback and your suggestions for new videos and questions. Glaucoma is an irreversible damage to the optic nerve which is between eye and brain. The optic nerve is made out of one million nerve fibers and they slowly disappear over the lifetime but quicker in glaucoma. Glaucoma is the second leading cause for blindness worldwide after cataract, but it's the number one cause for irreversible blindness. It affects about 2% of the white British and US population. In people of Chinese or Indian origin, it's about 3% and 5% in Afro-Caribbean people. The exact cause is unknown, but it's probably uh, insufficient blood supply of the optic nerve, which is called ischemia. You can imagine that the eye is like a ball filled with water, which has a certain pressure. And if the pressure is too tight, the blood supply coming into the eye has difficulties perfusing the nerve because the eye pressure is pushing against the blood pressure. Glaucoma often runs in families and it is partially genetic. It has no symptoms and it can affect people at any age, but usually it's after the age of 40. The most common type of glaucoma is primary open angle glaucoma. On the contrary, there is a normal eye tension glaucoma, which is more difficult to treat and less well understood. Blood pressure sp uh, plays a role there and as eye doctors we sometimes suggest to try ginkgo biloba supplements to improve the blood flow around the nerve and to also improve possibly the resistance against ischemia. You have to be ca uh, cautious there because ginkgo is a blood thinner and should not be combined with other blood thinners. It also can um, rarely increase the, the possibility to have brain seizures. The next type of glaucoma is called narrow angle glaucoma, which is a completely different mechanism. Those are usually small eyes which are far sighted, so they have difficulties to read. And that because the eye is small, the outflow channel is narrow from the iris. And those people can sometimes develop an acute glaucoma attack. And the signs there would be brow ache, when they look at lights, they see a halo around it, nausea. And if you palpate the eye, it is stone hard. It is very dangerous and needs immediate attention. Certain medication can trigger such a type of glaucoma because they work on the muscles in the eye. So in that situation, I would recommend that you have a check with an ophthalmologist or an optician. And they can tell you just by looking at your eye if you have a risk to develop that type of glaucoma or they can actually exclude it. The treatment of that angle closure attack would be a peripheral laser iridotomy which makes a hole in the iris and lets the water flow from the back to the front. If that doesn't work enough well then cataract surgery will be the next step which then removes the lens and gives the space for the iris to drop back and open up the angle and come back to normal drainage. There is also glaucoma newborn and they have beautiful large eyes 
and I have heard from people identifying such children in a public space so watch out for them and I'm including pictures of those children secondary glaucoma means somebody something else is causing the glaucoma the most important test which we do with the patients to monitor if the glaucoma is progressing is the visual field test it's a bit of a boring test it takes lots of concentration and people get better with training the thing with glaucoma is that it affects the side vision first and leads actually to a tunnel vision so the, the vision in the center stays for the longest so people can read but notice that it's encroaching that would be an end stage glaucoma which is really serious and that's the difficult part with glaucoma that we often only notice it when it's too late and that's very frustrating for patients Glaucoma is anyway a frustrating disease because we can't reverse it, we can only treat it. And whatever we do, it, it often has risks, Cat like cataract surgery is very difficult and dangerous in, in narrow angle glaucoma patients. The treatment and also the surgeries often have complications and, and, um, and can lead also to blindness. Let's first talk about the eye drops. The most common one is latanoprost, which increases the outflow of fluid from the eye. Then we have another drop which actually reduces the production of fluid in the eye, which is timolol, which is a beta blocker. And those have numerous side effects, which include breathing difficulties, slowing of the heartbeat, erectile dysfunction, and also a more calmer mood. There are loads of different drops available. In terms of laser, we have selective laser trabeculoplasty, which stimulates the angle and the outflow of water from the eye. Then we have transscleral cyclophotocoagulation laser, which is a laser applied to the white part just behind the cornea. And that burns the ciliary body which is inside the eye and produces the water so that's an irreversible damage is caused to that and to reduce the eye pressure because it is a kind of a, a harsh treatment it can cause inflammation it can cause too low eye pressure if too much tissue is treated and because it's, it's a harsh treatment, it can trigger an immune reaction of the body against the proteins in the eye. And when that happens, the immune system can start to fight the good eye and bilateral blindness can occur, which is very rare and it is, it is called sympathetic ophthalmia and is a side effect of big eye surgeries. Let's go to the eye surgeries. To, there's one to, again, decrease production of the fluid inside the eye, which is the endoscopic cyclophotocoagulation, which again treats the same ciliary body, but this time from the inside. And this can be done during cataract surgery, for example. Then there's the possibility to implant small tubes into the drainage channel to again improve the drainage and those are called Xen implants or eye stent. Glaucoma drainage devices is reserved for very difficult cases. Trabeculectomy is the gold standard. That's the most common done surgery where, we, where a, a drainage is produced again through the angle into the white part of the eye. And this is then a small cushion in which the fluid can drain and be absorbed. Every surgery has risks, but it's, it is still more beneficial to take the, let's say, 5% risk of a trabeculectomy against the more higher risk of losing sight from glaucoma. There's not much which the patient it's, um, themselves can do through diet or lifestyle because we don't really understand how glaucoma works and how it can be prevented. Um, in, a, in a natural uh, way 
One supplement which can be tried by patients is called Ginkgo Biloba supplement. The idea again is there to improve the blood flow around the eye and to increase the resistance against damage through ischemia. It's usually considered in intermediate or advanced glaucoma, but has certain risks, as I explained before. I hope you have liked this video. If you have any questions or feedback for me, please contact me. There's also my email and website available. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Thank you very much and um, God bless you.